Battle Frog. Gotta live it. Battling is believing just off the top of my head is about everything in life. Whether you're battling to better yourself in your career, battling to better yourself as a parent, battling to better yourself as a spouse, as a person of relationship, it's all about battling. Life is a battle. And what Battle Frog is, it's the embodiment. It's a metaphor for everything else in life. If you can accomplish and overcome the obstacles in the Battle Frog course, you can accomplish and overcome obstacles in everyday life. Battle Frog, gotta live it. Battle Frog, gotta live it. As far as the obstacles, I can't really say where I've encountered them, but I have encountered them. And I will say that there's nothing I'm not ready for. I can scale walls, I can swim. Um, will I be the best at it, my first race? No. But I'm gonna do better than I've ever done. Better for me is doing it, all right? That's step one. Now the thing about this, when you get to the elite level, you're racing against other people. Right now, I'm racing against myself. So I really have no bearing on what anyone else is doing. I'm just gonna focus on myself and do the best I can. And the next time I do it, I'm gonna do even better. Because just like bodybuilding, you know, you go into one show, I started competing as a lightweight. I ended my career competing as a super heavyweight, bigger and more muscular. This is the same thing. I'm gonna start here and then move up every time. It's all about progressing in life, and I will progress. Battle Frog, gotta live it. Boom! What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Oh, man, I've been getting my inbox blown up. Blown up by this battle frog thing. I have notes, because there's a lot to address. As you all might have heard, battle frog is completely folded. I'm going to go into an, an, a little exercise as to why they failed and as to how not to run a business. This is Battle Frog. As you guys know, we were the supplement sponsor for Battle Frog, Tiger Fitness, MTS Nutrition Hell. My big ass even ran one myself, the LA Battle Frog. And I think I did pretty well. Ran it with my girl Brooke at a event over there. Chris, it was fun. Old, old American grit. That shows people. We got together. We had a good time. Not really a good time because you get bruised up. But these freaks love obstacle course racing, and I love them. Why? I'm all about athletes. And anybody who can scale a wall, jump into mud, and swim through frozen water, all while wearing a halter top and booty shorts, you got my vote. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and uh, tell you what happened here. So there, they ran like they had like eight to ten races, whatever, in a year, and they were they were excited to grow. Had this rich Italian dude behind them. My man Devin worked there. He's the one who kind of hooked me up with this whole uh, whole battle frog thing, right? So like, you know what? We're going all in. We're going balls deep, okay? We're going to go ahead and we're going to get all these frigging people. We're going to put one in every state. Every state. We're going to run 50 plus races a year. Hit all major markets. We have money, right? We're going to make it happen. Problem is, they have the infrastructure to do this. Probably not. They had people traveling every week, race to race. I remember when Devin was there before they canned him. I remember he was going every. He was traveling more than me. I traveled 300 damn days a year. Solution, obviously, is to hire more people, right? So they had some really talented, amazing people, such as my girl, Brooke. Kevin took over their marketing. My man, Kevin. What happened? What happened? They move for some of these jobs. Brooke moved different state. All right, offer a salary, but it's one of those, not a great salary, but it's one of those like, we're going to grow. We're going to take care of you. It's a long-term, long-term investment in your career. Got out there and they hustled. They tried to get these races going, right? Market activation, even doing booths at Dallas Super Show, Europa Super Show. Crazy, right? OCR at a freaking bodybuilding show. But they had aspirations. They had goals and fitness is fitness. They brought on Mavens, like Maven, someone like Paul Revere. The British are coming, the British are coming. I like fucking Battle Frogs coming, right? Battle Frogs coming. 
Fuck you, Tough Mudder. Tough Mudder, Battle Frog, right up your ass, right? I gotta admit, they put on a great race. It was a great race. Considering how fucked up it was, how fucking wet, dangerous it was, I almost broke my damn neck. It was fun. I had a good ass time. Good people too, man. Those OCR people, I hate bodybuilding. Bunch of arrogant fucks. You go to an OCR, you got someone competing against you who will stop and lift your ass over a wall. Mmm. Mmm. So what'd they do? They were bleeding. Payroll had to be through the roof. Attendance was good, but not enough to break even, I'm guessing. It's conjecture based on what happened. And they had, I remember, I don't know if you saw, they even sponsored the damn Fiesta Bowl. I flew out there. I'm going to put these videos right in this video. I either at the beginning or the end, whatever I fucking decide to do, right? You probably saw it or you're going to see it. Fuck it, I'll put it at the beginning. Y'all got to see my fucking intro. I was a spokesperson for Battlefront. It was a barter deal. I spoke, I spoke for them. They let us get sponsorship. Pretty fucking great deal, right? I didn't have to pay shit. And again, I love Battlefrog. I said, I must have spent 50K at least in sponsorship materials for Battlefrog. 50K. Easily. Worth it. Worth it. Great fucking people, those OCR people. Love them. I miss them. I miss them. I do. Crazy motherfuckers jumping over walls and shit. Crazy. So they're like, you know what? Well, we got this fucking TV show where people like fucking flash run over water and shit, right? You have the elite racers, these elite guys. I hung out with them at, in Arizona on New Year's Eve for the, for the video shoot. They're awesome people, man. They're good people. Good people. <sighs> they put together a show, right? They never ran that shit I did. You just seen that video I got sent to me. It's not even really edited, right? Pilot got denied, man. They didn't get a show. Ha! Huh. So they dumped everything, said no more races, and the ESPN's like, fuck you, right? Nope, nope, not getting a show. Done. You're out of business. And let me say why they will never make a comeback. They ain't gonna be like Jordan wearing number 45. They ain't making a comeback. Wanna know why? They done pissed off the niche. They pissed off the Mavens. You go on anybody's Facebook page and fucking OCR. Like, fuck those guys, man. Fuck them. Fuck Battle Fraud. Fuck that Italian motherfucker, right? People were mad. <laughs> People don't forget. And they felt for their fellow racers who got screwed when they took that job. I understand every job you take is a risk. Every career move is a risk. This was just fucked up. So I'm going to give you a little business tip. Just a tip. On what you need to learn from Battlefrog. One is don't grow too fast. Some of us see that light. We want to put up retail stores. We have one that's doing good. Let's put up 12. Hell, I was watching Shark Tank last night. They had this woman who owned this cookie store. Successful in Indiana, she expanded to Florida. All of them are losing money. Don't grow too big for your britches. That brings me on to number two. Own your own market. Battle Frog would have been better served with strategically placed races amongst their niche, keeping costs down and keeping people happy and growing organically, not taking all their money and putting it in one basket because money goes quickly. I don't give a shit how rich you are. You need to grow conservatively. Scared money don't make money, but scared money tends to stay in your pocket. And of course, don't piss off the mavens. Don't piss anybody off. Don't piss off your market. If you want to stay in business, you coddle those motherfuckers. You let them know how much you love them. You send them flowers just for the hell of it. You make them breakfast in bed. You lick between their toes. You do everything you can to keep them. Battle Frog's dead. And we all can learn from it. Some great business lessons. And to you OCR guys out there, I still got your back. You're probably not going to see my big ass climbing over a wall anytime soon. But if y'all ever need anything, holla at your boy. I'm Mark Obliner, TigerFitness.com. Shout out. All my OCR peeps. That's not a game.